What up, what up? Good morning. It is your boy Jay Goble back at it again for Not Many Noble. Reading the Bible through in 22, day 121, May 1st. Reading the Bible through in chronological, chronological order. We're in the World English Bible. We're in 1 Samuel. 2 Samuel? Where are we? 2 Samuel 22 and Psalm 18. That's all we're reading. Just those two sections. A little larger, I think. Songs, both of them. Both of them songs, both of them a little longer songs. It, um, it, I think, I'm not going to say they're the same, <laughs> but I'm not going to say it's the same, but it is. It's really close. It is the same. So that's all we got, though. Just those two. So let's just jump into it. And we'll see what we get out of it. Probably a quick one today. So Second Samuel 22, David spoke to Yahweh the words of this song and the day that Yahweh delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, Yahweh is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer, even mine. God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. You save me from violence. I call on Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies, from the waves of death surrounded me. For the waves, sorry, of death surrounded me. The floods of ungodliness made me afraid. The cords of Sheol were around me. The snares of death caught me. In my distress, I called on Yahweh. Yes, I called to my God. He heard my voice out of his temple. My cry came into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven quaked and were shaken because he was angry. Smoke went up out of his nostrils. Consuming fire came out of his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet. He rode a cherub and flew. Yes, he was seen on the wings of the wind. He made darkness a shelter around himself, gathering of waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness before him, coals of fire were kindled. Yahweh thundered from heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning and confused them. Then the channels of the sea appeared. The foundations of the world were laid bare by Yahweh's rebuke at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. He sent from on high, and he took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They came on me in the day of my calamity, but Yahweh was my support. He also brought me out into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahweh rewarded me according to my righteousness. He rewarded me according to the cleanness of my hands, for I have kept Yahweh's ways and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his ordinances were before me. As for his statutes, I didn't depart from them. I was also perfect toward him. I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore Yahweh has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyesight. With the merciful you will show yourself merciful. With the perfect man you will show yourself perfect. With the pure you will show yourself pure. With the crooked you will show yourself shrewd. You will save the afflicted people, but your eyes are on the arrogant that you may bring them down. For you are my lamp, Yahweh. Yahweh will light up my darkness. For by you I run against a troop. By my God I leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. Yahweh's word is tested. He is a shield to all who, all those who take refuge in him. For who is beside? For who is God besides Yahweh? Who is a rock besides our God? God is my strong fortress. He makes my way perfect. He makes his feet like hinds' feet, and sets me on high places. He teaches my hands to make war so that my arms bend a bow of bronze. You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your gentleness has made me great. You have enlarged my steps under me. My feet have not slipped. I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them. I didn't turn again until they were consumed. I have consumed them and struck them through so that they can't arise. Yes, they have fallen under my feet, for you have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. You have also made my enemies turn their backs to me that I might cut off those who hate me. They looked, but there was no one to save, even to Yahweh, but he didn't answer them. Then I beat them as small as the dust of the earth. I crushed them as the mire of the streets and spread them abroad. You also have delivered me from the strivings of my people. You have kept me to be the head of the nations, a people whom I have not known 
will serve me. The foreigners will submit themselves to me. As soon as they hear of me, they will obey me. The foreigners will fade away and will come trembling out of their close places. Yahweh lives. Blessed be my rock. Exalted be God, the rock of my salvation. Even the God who executes vengeance for me, who brings down peoples under me, who brings me away from my enemies. Yes, you lift me up above all those who rise up against me. You deliver me from the violent man. Therefore, I will give thanks to you, Yahweh among the nations, and will sing praises to your name. He gives great deliverance to his king and shows loving kindness to his anointed, to David and to his offspring forevermore. All right. Well, before we jump into the next one, before we read the same thing again in Psalm 18, I just got a couple things to say. I'm like... Oh, well, I mean, the, the songs are descriptive, right? Pre- or not prescriptive. So it's not like you, you don't read this psalm and then you come away saying to yourself, oh, I got to be like this, right? Where especially eh, in verse 21 here, Yahweh rewarded me according to my righteousness. He rewarded me according to the cleanness of my hands. For I have kept Yahweh's ways and I have not wickedly departed from my God. If it's a a a messianic psalm about the Lord Jesus Christ, then yea and amen, right? But it ain't David and it ain't you. And it's not like with the pure, you will show yourself pure. So I got to be, go be pure. We don't have that purity. You don't have it. I don't have it. We don't have it. We ain't got it like that. With the crooked, you will show yourself shrewd. Uh, That's me. So it's not looking good for me. You will save the afflicted people, but your eyes are on the arrogant that you may bring them down. That is true. And that is me. I guess I'm going to be brought down. But here, he gives great deliverance to his king and shows loving kindness to his anointed, to David and his offspring forevermore. It's the seed of David, the greater David, son of David, the seed of the woman. That who is going, that's who is going to be executing judgment. That who, that's who is pure. That's who passed the test. That's who did all the great things. All lived perfectly. That's it. That's it. Just him. Just him. So it's difficult to say, like, is he, because he, he can't be just talking about himself. Mm, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense out of all the things that he's done. Doesn't make sense that he would that he would come up and say that. Uh, of course, we are pure after we are forgiven and cleansed. You could make that argument, but I think it's more messianic. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm willing to be wrong. You can hit me up, not many noble at gmail dot com. Send me your prayer requests and tell me why I'm wrong. Not a problem. So hit me up. And Psalm 18, for the chief musician by David, the servant of Yahweh, who spoke to Yahweh the words of this song in the day that Yahweh delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul, he said, I love you, Yahweh, my strength. Yahweh is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. I call on Yahweh who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. The courts of death surrounded me. The floods of ungodliness made me afraid. The cords of Sheol were around me. The snares of death came on me. Now, of course, that was true for David. I mean, he faced death many times. And we read that the Lord Jesus Christ faced death, right? And conquered death once for all. In my distress, I called on Yahweh and cried to my God. He heard my voice out of his temple. He always hears. That's the other thing. He hears. My cry before him came into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of the mountains quaked and were shaken because he was angry. Smoke went out of his nostrils. Consuming fire came out of his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet. He rode on a cherub and flew. Yes, he soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his hiding place, his pavilion around him. Darkness of waters, thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness before him, his thick clouds passed. Hailstones and coals of fire. Yahweh also thundered in the sky. The Most High uttered his voice. Hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered them. He routed them with great lightning bolts. Then the channels of waters appeared. The foundations of the world were laid bare at your rebuke, Yahweh. At the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from on high. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They came on me in the days of my calamity, but Yahweh was my support. He brought me out also in a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahweh has rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Yahweh 
and have not wickedly departed from my God, for all his ordinances were before me. I didn't put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless with him. I kept myself from my iniquity. I, sorry, 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 sorry. I know I was going to try and finish, but I can't. I cannot. Um, this, like, this is my goal as well, as far as like, for all his ordinances were before me, I didn't put away his statutes from me. I, right. That's why we're together. That's why we're reading. That's why we're here. That is why you are listening to the sweet sound of my voice is because you are trying to get more Bible reading into your life. Me too. That's why I'm reading. That's why I'm reading every day. That's why we're working together here. We're trying to read the Bible, more Bible intake. We want to know God's ordinances. We want to know God. We want to be like God. But I was blameless with him. I kept myself from my iniquity. Anytime I have success, I believe it is by the grace of God that I was able to, because I know that left to my own devices, I am engaged in a pattern of self-destruction. That's what I do. That's what I do. When God in his kindness and mercy, he saves me. That's it. That's it. So therefore Yahweh has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyes, eyesight. Just because I'm washed by the blood, if you're going to apply it to you with the merciful, you will show yourself merciful with the perfect man. You will show yourself perfect with the pure. You will show yourself pure with the crooked. You will show yourself shrewd for you will save the afflicted people, but the arrogant eyes you will bring down. For you will light my lamp, Yahweh. My God will light up my darkness. For by you I advance through a troop. By my God I leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. Yahweh's word is tried. He is a shield to all those who take refuge in him. For who is God except Yahweh? Who is a rock besides our God? The God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like deer's feet. He sets me on high places. He teaches my hands to war so that my arms bend a bow of bronze. You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand sustains me. Your gentleness has made me great. You have enlarged my steps under me. My feet have not slipped. That's right. Salvation is a gift. You have given me the shield of your salvation. I will pursue my enemies and overtake them. I won't turn away until they are consumed. I will strike them through so that they will not be able to rise. They shall fall under my feet. Now, David wasn't able to destroy all his enemies and he did it. But the Lord Jesus Christ, David's greater son, he absolutely will. He absolutely will destroy and consume all his enemies. That's a terrifying thought for you have armed me with strength to the battle. You have subdued under me. Those who rose up against me. You have also made my enemies turn their backs to me so that I might cut off those who hate me. They cried, but there was no one to save, even to Yahweh, but he didn't answer them. Then I beat them as small as the dust before the wind. I cast them out as the mire of the streets. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people. You have made me the head of the nations. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The foreigners shall submit themselves to me. The foreigners shall fade away and shall come trembling out of their strongholds. Yahweh lives. Blessed be my rock. Exalted be the God of my salvation, even the God who executes vengeance for me and subdues people under me. He rescues me from my enemies. Yes, you lift me up above those who rise up against me. You deliver me from the violent man. Therefore, I will give thanks to you, Yahweh, among the nations and will sing praises to your name. He gives great deliverance to his king and shows loving kindness to his anointed, to David and his offspring forevermore or to David and his seed. There's that seed again forevermore. And that's it. That is, that's it. That's all I read for today. So let's pray real quick and then let us, let's bounce. Let's, uh, let's get up on out of here and, uh, call it a quick one. It's a quick one for today. And that's all right. And that's all right. Let's pray. If you're driving eyes up, eyes open. Head up, pay attention. If you're not, that's fine. If you've got prayer requests, not many noble at gmail.com. Hit me up. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for another day. Thank you for your kindness and blessings to us. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you that you have entrusted all judgment to the Son. Thank you, Father, for he is merciful. He is great. He is mighty, mighty to save, merciful, long-suffering, abounding with grace. We thank you for it, and we pray that you would please extend that grace to us today, to our loved ones, our family members, those who do not know you. Pray that you would please send forth conviction, send forth grace, your grace and mercy. We desperately need it. Pray that you would please teach us from your word. 
even today, days like today, we're reading, it feels like the same thing twice over. I pray that you would please sustain us, that you would teach us, you would guide us, you would give us wisdom. We desperately need you. Can't do it by ourselves. Can't understand it by ourselves. We need the spirit that you sent forth to live within us, to dwell within us, to teach us, to guide us, to direct us. And we commit ourselves, Father, to your word, to your word. Pray that you would please bless it. Send it forth. You've promised that you will, that it will never return void. Do that now for us, for your son's sake. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. Thanks for listening. I appreciate you. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch y'all tomorrow.